it's beginning to look a lot like Christmas here at Perkins Pipes. What in the world is Steve talking about? It's bright sunshine out here. There's green leaves on the trees, and he's in a short sleeve deep purple shirt. How in the world could you say this is beginning to look a lot like Christmas? Well, I'm recording this episode in October, although it's not going to come out until Black Friday, the day after Thanksgiving, the big shopping day here in the United States. And for this very special episode, I've got uh, one of my own uh, Christmas pipes uh, that I made last year. Um, I really enjoy the look of this little guy. It's, it's, he's half rusticated. You can see uh, along the uh, stem and the front of the bowl and then smooth around the back. Uh, we got the red marbled stem. Since I'm thinking Christmas, about the closest thing I've got to the North Pole uh, in terms of tobacco is this uh, Zvendborg uh, Danish mixture. So Denmark is as close as we get to the North Pole uh, around here. And I've also got on my deep purple shirt and my striper ball cap because, well, we're not exactly talking about rock and roll. We are talking about something for someone who loves rock and roll. And I know this particular person uh, enjoys deep purple and loves striper very, very much. So as always, let's get this guy lit. Let's get to talking. Okay, so what is this all about? Well, I'm giving a gift to a friend of mine um, here in October. But it seemed appropriate to do this video and or to release this video on Black Friday. Mm. There we go. And Svenborg uh, Danish is nice. Again, that's a, a blend of some black Cavendish, uh, Swedish Golden Virginia, smooth with delicious creamy vanilla. Mm. Very, very nice flavor there. I have to be honest, I don't like shopping. Anybody who really knows me, any of my close friends, they already know that. Um, yes, I like a good deal as much as the next person. I mean, hey, why pay more for something when you can pay less? I get that. But I really don't like shopping just for shopping's sake. I don't really enjoy it as a form of entertainment, or at least not the way I did back when I would cruise the malls back in the 1980s. I'm also not really fond of the idea of just going to try to find something to give somebody. I do it out of necessity. I don't really enjoy it. And as I'm saying that, I'm thinking maybe I've talked about that on this channel before. It's not that I'm a jerk. It's not that I don't like to uh, give gifts to people. I just don't like to do it that way. You know, I, I, I like to if I see something that makes me think of someone, I want to get it for them. Now I might hold it till Christmas, I might hold it till their birthday, but I like to get it for them when I see it and I think of that person. I um I get an idea for something and I, I want to make it for somebody. That's the sort of gift giving that I really enjoy and, and, and prefer than to just, okay, I got to get something for somebody. Uh, let's run out the mall with thousands of other people, uh, try to knock people down, push and shove all in the spirit of Jesus and get the best deal. Yeah, that, that, that's not for me. Don't really care for that. So I want to release this on Black Friday because as I said, I'm giving this to a friend uh, in... October. Mmm, there's a good cloud of smoke. So what am I giving? Well, I'm giving a pipe that I made. Before I get into it, 
I made a few pipes before. You've seen them on this channel. Go back, look through them. There's little black prints. I've got a black poker that I made myself. Uh, made this Christmas pipe. Got another Christmas pipe that's red with a green stem. Made um, a couple of others for some friends. Um, I'm not, it, 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 listen, I am not a real pipe artisan, okay? When I make a pipe, I usually make it from a blank. I mean, I always make it from a blank that I purchased online. And the pipe that I made this particular friend, uh, and we'll put a link here in into the video, uh, I got from uh, Mushang. You can go on Mushang's website. Uh, they're making a lot of pipes. Uh, they've got a lot of, of pipe parts and, and blanks and so forth that you can purchase. And I'll try to link to the um, to the actual blank uh, that I purchased off of their website. Set down with my good old-fashioned Dremel and reduced this. Now, for this particular uh, gift, I did want to, uh, I had a little glitch there, I did want to put it in a nice box, so I got a box, stained it, box was already made, I didn't, didn't make the box myself, and let's open this guy up here, and inside, what do we have but the pipe? So let's get this guy out. Let's take a look at him, shall we? This particular friend of mine, uh, to my knowledge, I, I, and I really don't know, sure. I don't think he smokes pipes. Um, I know he smokes a cigar on occasion. And so I thought, well, you know what? He might like a pipe. So, here is the pipe that I'm giving him. And this one came out very, very nicely. I'm very pleased with this one. And hopefully you can see some of the grain and what's going on here. Uh, it's a nice sitter. Got a nice flat bottom. And uh, later in the video here, I'll show you some still photos. Uh, where I think the, the light makes the grain uh, come out even better. And please, 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 do not think I'm comparing myself to Michelangelo. Right? Michelangelo, great sculptor. Me, Steve, not so much. But the one thing I do uh, share with Michelangelo, he said that when he would start to carve a piece of marble, He felt that God set the design in the marble, and the sculptor just set it free. In a similar way, I don't really know what I'm going to do with a with a, a blank until I get going on it and just start shaping it and working with it and see what happens, see what basically comes out of the blank. Now, some of you know, um, despite all the wonderful charts and things online, I'm not great at identifying the shape, so please tell me what shape you think this is. I'm I'm thinking, uh, what are we looking at here? Sort of a, a pretty stout poker, maybe stout poker. It's got a nice grain to it, and what I did because this person I know loves rock and roll, especially heavy metal, and I know this person likes Deep Purple. And I know this person is a huge Striper fan. What I decided to do was go with some uh, rusticated flames uh, along the bottom of the bowl. And you can kind of see that. There's a good shot there. You can see the flames shooting up uh, on the bottom of the bowl toward the top. And then let the rest uh, smooth. You say, well, it's got kind of a neat reddish look to it. Well, 
that was a bit of a happy accident. I uh, used the uh, the Fibings dye, the brown dye, to stain it. Uh, did that, burned off the alcohol. Um, then uh, did a little light sanding, put on some more. Then took some alcohol and rubbed off some of the dye. And it ended up this really kind of dark, gorgeous, brownish red color, which again, uh, you may see better in the uh, still photos. Let's see, hold this on the on the stem here. Maybe see more of the wood. Uh, this side in particular, I don't know if you can really see the grain. Well, I think the grain is particularly nice there. So, it's a nice uh, stout pipe. Uh, I think it's a very, very nice stem uh, that they included. Right? They included two. Uh, and that, of course, will go in the box uh, with my friend sending him some tobacco as well. So, uh, there it is. A gift pipe for a friend. Uh, I just wanted to do a little video on it. I was actually kind of proud of that one, i got to be honest. Uh, kind of proud of that one. Uh, it came out, um, quite frankly, even better than uh, some of the pipes I have made for myself. And uh, I'm going, man, that, that, that uh, Mushang blank worked really well. Probably going to order from them again. I think it took about close to two weeks uh, to get the blank, so eh, a little bit longer. Uh, but, you know, coming, coming from farther away, that's to be expected. The blank was packaged very, very well. And like I say, they included two stems uh, with it. So I uh, like that one very much, had fun with that one. So if you want to say something nice, feel free to leave a comment about what you think about that pipe. Hey, if you don't like it, go ahead and leave a comment about that too. Listen, I'm not that thin-skinned. Uh, so <laughs> tell us what you think about uh, pipes, pipe making. Have you ever thought about making pipes? I've asked this question before. Uh, have you ever made some pipes uh, just from a kit or something? I know there's some of you out there that are serious pipe makers. You don't work off of a blank. You certainly uh, make a finer pipe uh, than I can make. Uh, but talk to us about that. Um, talk to us what you think about shopping. Again, giving gifts for people. Uh, again, I think we've had an episode uh, about this topic before. So as Malcolm Geit likes to say, I do these little things at last to do nothing. Or as I like to say in Latin, parva ago. Ah, ut tandem nihil ago. Have a wonderful day. Walk the earth, diesel and dust, feet in the dirt. He showed us love, he showed us life, he showed the way he was alive. Probably he's calling for today is the day. Follow me, he's calling, there is no